Hi everyone and welcome to another video of Google Tag Manager. We're doing the basics here. It's a video that I've done before but I'm redoing it again because uh, Google uh, Tag Manager has released a new user interface and I've got few requests uh, from my viewers asking me to redo some of these videos because they are getting confused with the new interface. For all of this, um, of this confusion, I'm making it simpler. We're doing our very first um, uh, Google Tag uh, using the Tag Manager and this one will be around uh, Google Analytics doing the page view analytics tag. Let's get started. Um, the easy way would be, of course, to start by creating a variable. And the reason you want to create a variable because you would want to hold the value of the Google Universal Analytic ID into that variable. So I'm going directly here to my variables, scrolling down. Remember, this is the new interface. So you need to click on new and give your variable a name because we're going with Google Analytic tracking ID. I've done this in a previous video, but this is using the new interface. It's much simpler. So remember, there's one part to it, variable configuration. It's of type constant. So you need to scroll down slightly and reach out for the constant and put the value right here. But where do you get this value from is simply by going to Google Analytics and going to the admin part and right here where it says tracking info, I'll click on this and then tracking code, scrolling slightly down there. As you can see, this is the tracking ID that you need to use to create the variable. I'm copying it going back to Google Tag Manager and pasting that value right here. And then hit on save. My variable has been created and that's the first step. The next step would be, as usual, creating a tag. And this has become much simpler with the new interface. All you have to do is click on new and give your tag a name, GAU tag dash page views. You can name it anything you want, but this is simple and uh, clear. There are two elements to every tag. Now with the new interface, you have the tag configuration and the triggering. Starting with the tag configuration, I can click here and it is of type universal analytics. So that's my first option. I'm selecting it. And here is where you actually uh, you make use of the variable that we've just created by saying GA tracking ID. So it'll pull the value of my tracking ID automatically for me. And this is the tracking type is page view. So that's there. Let me scroll down to see if there are any other options that I need to set. I like to uh, keep it as simple as this once per event. That's perfect. Let's see tag sequencing. Okay. I think I'm ready to keep it as is. The next part is the triggering. I'll click on trigger. And what is happening right now is it's asking me, where do you want to fire this particular tag? Obviously I want it on all my pages. So I'm just going to simply select all pages and there's no exception to this. Hit on save and I'm pretty much done. Now in order to test it with the new interface, pretty much same, I can go here and click on preview. What this will do for me is it will put me in a preview mode so that I can actually go to my home page and refresh it. And now what I'm trying to do is to Go to my home page and trying to see if it has actually added. Okay, so what's going on? Obviously, we did not add the Google Tag Manager code in the first place in my home page. 
Remember, this is a one-time thing that you need to do and you'll do it only once. So I generally would go to my editor, I'm using uh, WordPress, and I would like to throw the code right into my uh, footer or header. What do you think? Let's read carefully what Google Tag Manager is telling us and how to set it up. Basically, in order to get to that part, it becomes a little bit confusing, but you can go to Admin and then try to find the part that says Install Google Tag Manager. I'll click on it. There it is. That is the code that you need to actually put into your homepage and you do it only once. Going forward, any other tag that you need to fire through Google Tag Manager will happen automatically so there's no code uh, needed to be manually added to your homepage except this one. Now what they are telling us is place it immediately after the opening tag, body tag. So in essence I need to do it in my header. So I will look for the uh, template here. I'm using the header.php I'll scroll down slightly to see the body of the tag as it is telling me put it right after the body. Perfect. And now I can hit the update. Now we will test it properly by going to the page. There you go. If you are able to see that lower portion right here, it tells you what tags has been fired on this particular page and as you can see the Google Analytic Universal tag page views has been fired right here so that's a very good test and when I'm ready I can actually go back to my accounts in Google Tag Manager and hit the publish button right here and it'll tell me that I have now here's the difference because we are using the new interface, it's forcing us somehow to have a name for our version and also a description. And this is where we will tell Google Tag Manager what changes we did. So in case we want to revert back or we want to remember what we did, we can actually go about saying it. So I'm just going to say installed GA page views or page view tracking tag. It doesn't have to be that long, but in case you're doing multiple changes for that version, you might want to have them listed right here in the description that make things much clearer. And it's telling me that, okay, right now if I hit the publish button, I'm basically committing my two changes that are part of this workspace, and that is the variable that I've just created for the Google tracking ID and also the tag itself that fires on page views. I'm ready, hit publish, and sing along. Thank you for watching this video. Remember, most of the videos will be using the new interface since we're moving forward into a much cleaner uh, and layered approach when it comes to this new interface. I really love it. And for those of you who are trying to move from the old way, I'm telling you this is a much cleaner and neater way of doing uh, implementation using Google Tag Manager. So that's it for today. Remember, sign up for a WebAuth account and keep yourself engaged with these tutorials that I will personally be putting out online for all of you and have a great day. Bye-bye.